Hey everyone, I'm going to be going through some commutators today. I'm going to use these stickers on the cube to make it a lot more simple to follow. So, a normal commutator people would normally do on the last two centres of a bigger cube. Because there's only two colours, it looks like we're only actually swapping two pieces like this. But what's actually going on, we actually swap three pieces every time except you can't really see them because there's only two colours. So I'm going to use these stickers on the cube and go through and explain what's actually going on. So as you can see we've got three stickers on the cube. The pink one which is A, yellow one which is B and a blue one which is C. So the cycle that they're going to go around, A is going to move to B, B is going to move to C and C is going to go across to A. So that would be the cycle that you wouldn't normally see uh, by using two colours. So if we do basic algorithm, you see A is now moved here, B has gone there, and C is now there. So we'll do that again in the basic algorithm, um, depending on which pieces you're going to do, you would slice that layer down, then do an F or an F prime, in this case it's an F, then slice that layer down as well, then F prime, slice up, then back to F, slice up, and then F prime. So to figure out which way you need to actually go, if you need to do an F or an F prime, I'll show you now. So the piece that you want to place in the bottom, for example, so the way this is set up at the minute, we want to put B down into C. So you would line it up in the same layer. And if we slice that layer down, if we done an F prime instead, you can see that the piece we wanted to move is still in the same layer so that's not going to work. So that's why we do an F to move it across this side. So when we slice down again here, you can see A is going to replace where B is. Then when we do our F prime, the A and the rest is going to go back to normal. And then F, and then we replace everything that way. So I'll show you that again, but we'll use a different piece this time. This time we're going to use um, the, not the corner one, but the one above it. It's going to go to B. B is going to go where C is, and C is going to go to A. Uh, it's also good knowing how things are going to move, especially on um, something like a Gigaminx. Sorry, not a Gigaminx, um, a Mathematics, um, where the last two centres, especially your last centre, if the pieces are all technically correct, but because of the shape, they could be in the wrong place, so I'll show you at the end of the video um, of how you would figure out the cycles to correct that. So this one would be sliced down. And then <clears throat> you could do two things here. If you do an F, you now know it's the second layer in you need to slice down because it's this piece that you want to take out. Then you could do F prime and put everything back that way, which would be the cycle there. If we undo that, the other way you could do it, if you wanted to cycle another piece, so this piece here, we put another sticker on, which would be D, like that. So there's two options you've got here. <clears throat> Just remember, as long as it's not in the same layer, it will work. So we'd slice this one down, and if we'd done the F, it would be replacing with this sticker here. If we do the F prime, you notice it's still not going to be in this layer and as we slice down this sticker would now be the replacement. Like that. So we went from A, A's gone here, B has gone here and the D has come here. As well as doing individual ones you can do full lines or blocks which I'll now show you. 
So we're going to do the same again um, as we did with the corner, but we're going to actually use all four blocks. So you could do bigger chunks together. So A is going to go to B, B to C, and C over to A. Just like that. So what you'll notice as, as we're actually doing it, um, as you put C to A, and then we do our F, we're replacing C, which is going to go back up to here, with B, like that. And as we put the B up, the A that was in the bottom is now replacing where B is. And then we do our F, and then that just puts both sides back up to where it was. You can also do this with full lines or split lines as well. I'll show you the split lines. So this one looks a little bit more complicated, but it's the exact same. So all the A's are going to go replace the B's, all the B's are going to replace the C's, and all the C's are going to replace where the A's are. So if you notice these here, if I do a U prime, that these actually go in the position where the A's are. So we would just slice down each each of these layers. Remember if we do an F prime, that's going to be on the same layer as the one you've already sliced down, so we can't do that. Got to make sure that there's still a space. So if we do an F, there's nothing being sliced down yet, so we can slice that down. All the C's have replaced the A's. And then slice them back up. So you can see the C's have now replaced where the A's were. Do an F, back up again. So you can see the A's are now down the bottom. The B's have replaced the C's and the C's have replaced the A's. So here's a quick example solve. As you can see, we've got a block of three and a single piece, and we've got this T-shaped piece up top. So you would want to do um, some U moves to find out what's going to align. So if we do a U, you can see that these three pieces are now in the same place as these three pieces. And then we would do our slices. So we're going to slice down. If we've done an F prime, you can see that these are still in this layer. So that's not going to work. So from the beginning, we would slice down, do an F, then we're going to slice all these three down, because these are the ones we are moving, then we do an F prime, slice this layer back up, do an F, and then slice these three layers back up and finish with an F prime. And you can see those are now solved. Next, you would just align whichever piece is next. So we would put that in that position. So one in diagonal from the corner and one in diagonally from the corner. Same again, we would slice down. Remember, if we do an F prime, that's still in the same layer, so we can't do that. So we do an F, then slice that single piece down. F prime, slice back up. F, slice back up. Finish with an F prime, and then just do whichever you moves you need to do to complete the upper face. So this is where it could get a little bit more tricky with commutators if you've got a, a shape cube like like this. So technically, if this was a normal cube, this would be solved, but because they're different shapes, they need to be in specific pieces. So this is why you need to know um, which way the pieces are actually rotating with. So if you had something like this, the way you would fix it is you would need to do a three cycle so this piece needs to be here, and technically this piece needs to be there, but we have to cycle three. So to do this, you could do um, two different ways. If you put this down into the center with the same piece, then this same piece would still be solved. So generally you'd have to do some setup moves first. So for the setup moves for this, I would do U, then an F. Okay, so we're going to use the same uh, algorithm we've done earlier and same rotation of pieces. So this piece here is going to go into this corner. 
which you can see matches. So this face is still going to be solved. This piece would then go over here because we know that's where it goes in the rotation, which would solve this piece and that piece would go over to here to solve this piece. And then you would undo your setup moves. And the setup move or undo the setup move would be F prime, U prime. And that's how you would use the knowledge of what's rotating or cycling, sorry, in the commutators to be able to do things like this. If anybody has got any further questions, um, I do big Q patterns and things like that, so there's lots of complicated commutators with setup moves. If anybody would like to know a few more of those, um, let me know and I can do a second video.